That's the worst thing that could ever happen to a man. Oh, look at that one. Right? Uh, uh, that's gonna rip. Do you think that's hospital or medical centre? Hospital. It? Hospital? Local resident Paul has come to the tower with an injury no lifeguard has ever seen before. I saw this guy come shuffling towards me, and the next minute he's just gone. I've just been bitten on a beep 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 by a dog. Imagine his poor his poor girlfriend or poor wife. She won't be getting any love for a bit. That's the worst thing that could ever happen to a man. How? Why? What was going on? He was very lucky that there was intensive care paramedics that are already in the tower that had just treated a patient. And they said it was the most horrific thing that they've ever seen. There was no blood. He wasn't that much in pain, so there's only one thing I could think of. He would have been in shock. I've seen a lot of weird injuries, but that's the worst. To avoid any confusion, the paramedic clarifies how serious the injury is. The dog has torn the skin from the base down to the tip. Do you know who owns the dog? Yeah, he's my mate's dog. It was an accident. I don't know if I could really describe what I saw, but um, it wasn't bleeding at all, so that's probably lucky, but I would hate to see that ever again. Have you ever had any of this before? Uh, not quite like that. Oh, Imagine it never returned to working order again. You'd be heartbroken. Paul's mate doesn't help the situation. I just hope you can fix it. That's how to fix it. Yeah. It's easy. Just you're not you're not waiting to have a sink for a while. Hear that right now. As long as I can have it one day again. That's oh, bad, mate. There's a lot of Chinese whispers of how it really did happen. I heard it was a chihuahua. Could have been a labradoodle. I reckon it was a female for sure. <laughs> Paramedics arrive to take Paul to hospital. No one misses out on inspecting the injury themselves. I've seen the pictures of the aftermath and after surgery, and <laughs> he's bloody brave, that's for sure. <laughs> Weeks after a dog bit him in a very private place, local resident Paul has returned to reveal all. Hey, mate. Oh, oh, must have been, 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 been a scary day. Oh, it was, it was. I was freaking out. Is this the dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He didn't mean no harm. It was an accident. So what's the go? What happened? We I just... took Zeus for a swim. As I went to dive over him, he must have thought there was a ball there and he's jumped up and nipped me. And um, I didn't want to look in the water, so I swam back in and I've looked and I've freaked out a bit. Luckily, there was an ambulance here and you guys helped me out, so. Yeah. So how many stitches did you end up getting? Oh, it was about 100, around the 100 mark, so yeah. yeah. Such a mellow dog. It's yeah, like I said, it was an accident. Yeah. He's a good boy, you know. Yeah. Lifeguards are given an opportunity to inspect the repair work performed by doctors. <laughs> They've done a good job, but yeah. I give it to the doctors. Yeah. They've, they've fixed you up good, mate. Can't, hospital. can't even really notice it. Yeah, thanks, man. Stop, <laughs> um, I stood on a sea urchin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're a special one. Come through. A sea for you. A sea urchin is a little sea creature with all these little spikes that come off it, and they kind of hide in the rock crevices. Yeah, yeah very nasty. I couldn't believe how many sea urchins were in his foot. That's the worst I've seen. I went to jump off the jump rock and I came back and then a wave came and swooped me over and tried go. to stand up and I fell through a hole. And now all you have to do is be for the next 40. Terrible. Right. You look like Worse than a blue boy. Sea urchin spikes carry toxin and are extremely brittle. Like needles of fine porcelain, they easily break, usually once they've penetrated the skin. What's your name, buddy? Uh, Cameron. Cameron, I'm Harrison. I'm your surgeon for today. Uh, Jesse and Harrison start the delicate operation, removing the spines one at a time. Yeah. Oh, that one. Yeah. 
These are real tricky because they're so small and poor Cameron here, once he steps in them, um, they just snap off. It's just, yeah, tweezers your only hope. Otherwise, you might have to go to the medical centre and just try and get them out. The little worry I took it on, mate, he was like a little soldier. He, he didn't complain once about pain and, mate, I, at one stage I was digging into his foot. Oh, look at that one. That one, mate, that was, that, was, that was the biggest one in there. You all right? I feel so sorry doing that to Cameron because he was in a lot of pain, but we just had to get them out as best, you know, as quick as we can. I'm pretty positive I've got all of them out. Jesse and Harrison have taken 45 minutes to remove all the spines from Cameron's foot. Good work, mate. You're an absolute legend. It's like nothing else you've ever felt before, like, miniature knives just going into your foot and then when they're pulling them out, just like someone's just pushing them in even deeper. Sometimes the smallest injury can get the biggest reaction. 14-year-old Bondi local Richard slipped on rocks. I was walking over a new flat rock, like near the apartments, and there's the rock that's slanted like this, and I slipped off and then I got caught on another bit and it just went straight down. But I didn't break off and it stretched the skin. There's no choice. The nail must go. It's actually stuck. Ah, ah, that's gonna rip. But Richard is the only one brave enough to do it. I can't get it. It's like, just yank it, yank it, yank it. Oh, you want me to yank it? No, ah, Yank it, yank it. A bad infection could leave Richard even worse off with no toe at all. Uh, that was you and not me. Are you going to keep that? Keep it, mate. See, loose bits of skin. Oh, hey, glove, that works. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, mate. Go home and put it under your pillow. You never know, you might get the toenail off. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. See you, mate. Part of a lifeguard's job to expect the unexpected. On Australia's busiest stretch of sand, there's always something new. His foot. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. English backpacker Phil was enjoying his first swim at Bondi when he got a nasty surprise. A stray fish hook became embedded in his foot. It sort of like jolted me, so I thought, oh shit, it's like a, a jellyfish maybe. You know how the hook's stick. got a little bit that sticks back? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you pull that back. Oh yeah, it's going to rip it to shreds, yeah. I know. Do you think that's hospital or medical centre? Hospital. Hospital? Alright. You can either get there yourself, or you get an ambulance Have you got travel insurance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, you can either get there yourself, or you get an ambulance. Have you got travel insurance? Yeah, but I do not want to start using all that. It'll just get complicated. Well, I mean, it's going to get complicated if we, if we leave it any other way. It's, it's just one of those things, mate. Right? You've been caught, hook, line and sinker. Yeah. So, you need to... Sorry. I couldn't resist. We're going to need an ambulance. Yeah, copy that. Are you going to bring him up? <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely bring him up to the tower. For a man familiar with piercings, the hook isn't causing too much pain. Tom's humour <laughs> may be harder to bear. Come down to Bondi Beach for a leisurely swim and you get snagged. Yep. <laughs> right. In case you're not catching on, we're, uh, we're fishing for one-liners here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not biting. Get it. <laughs> Even Danny joins in with the merry punsters. Catch of the day here. Oh, that's bloody deep. Yeah, it comes out about here. It comes up to about here. Goes in and up. So it's right in there. Oh, that's you try and put it, just rip it out. Ooh. You got to use these things? That looks nice. Yeah. Don't pull it we, out. We, no, no, no. Are you alright to stand on it? Yeah, yeah. fine, yeah. I don't, <laughs> want, I don't want to go in again. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Once at hospital, Phil will be tagged, treated, and released. She keep holding, holding the ring. I had to force her. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up. <laughs> 